Good evening everybody and thank you for coming back and back and back after the last of the devices packed in. The internet packed in. So I'm now on another device on somebody else's internet. Let's see what will happen. The music unfortunately is having to come courtesy of another device so it sounds a little bit tinny and that's as loud as it goes unfortunately. But anyway, there's, there's more important things at hand today than what tunes we have on. We've managed to get together. That's the first thing. As we continue to pray for the nation in our month of prayer. And tonight we are praying for the schools, the colleges and the children. But also, we've had some wonderful news in our parish and we'd like to holding our hearts and prayers tonight, the Kyle family and the Marks family, who've welcomed a beautiful new addition. Huge congratulations. And I'm sure everybody will join us this evening, light their candles and give thanks for your beautiful new granddaughter. Huge congratulations, everybody. One of the advantages of the music and being able to turn it up loud is that I can drown out the sound of my children playing in the next room. So I'll apologise now for any undue interruptions. Daddy's in there with them. But that doesn't always really mean anything. <laughs> So as we gather tonight and we hold in our hearts and prayers the Kyle family and all those everywhere welcoming new additions, a blessing, a true blessing in these very, very troubled times. And we pray for all those involved in the shaping of young lives. We give thanks to God for the sacrifice and commitment of teachers, health workers, school workers, key workers, all those everywhere involved in serving young children and people in education. We pray that all might be nurtured and cared for and that every needful resource would be made available, that all lives are able to flourish even in these difficult times and that no one be overlooked. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My soul waits for the Lord, more than those who watch for the morning, more than those who watch for the morning. Out of the depths I have cried to you, O Lord, hear my voice. With my whole heart I want to praise you, O Lord, hear my voice. If you, Lord, should mark iniquities, who could stand, who could stand? I will wait for the Lord. My soul waits, and in his word do I hope. 
Lord, you have always given bread for the coming day. And though I am poor, today I believe. Lord, you have always given strength for the coming day. And though I am weak, today I believe. Lord, you have always given peace for the coming day. And though of anxious heart, today I believe. Lord, you have always kept me safe in trials. And now, tried as I am, today I believe. Lord, you have always marked the road for the coming day. And though it may be hidden, today I believe. Lord, you have always lightened this darkness of mine. And though the night is here, today I believe. Lord, you have always spoken when time was ripe. And though you be silent now, today I believe. And today's scripture reading taken from Psalm 104, verses 13 to 15. From your lofty abode you water the mountains. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for people to use to bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the human heart, oil to make the face shine and bread to strengthen the human heart. Today's meditation, some words from Thomas Merton. My Lord God, I have no idea where I am going. I do not see the road ahead of me. I cannot know for certain where it will end. Nor do I know myself. And the fact that I think I am following your will does not mean that I actually am doing so. But I believe that the desire to please you does in fact please you. And I hope that I have that desire in all that I am doing. And I know that if I do this, you will lead me to the right road, although I may know nothing about it. Therefore, will I trust you always. Though I may seem to be lost and in the shadow of death, I will not fear, for you are ever with me and will never leave me to face my perils alone. Let us pray together for others. In the shadow of your wings, I will sing your praises, O Lord. The Lord is my light, my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the refuge of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? In the shadow of your wings, I will sing your praises, O Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord, one thing I seek, to dwell in the presence of my God, to gaze on your holy place. In the shadow of your wings, I will sing your praises, O Lord. I believe I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. O oh, wait for the Lord. Have courage and wait. Wait for the Lord. In the shadow of your wings, I will sing your praises, O oh Lord. And let us share together the collect for today. Eternal Father, whose Son Jesus Christ ascended to the throne of heaven, that he might rule over all things as Lord and King, keep the Church in the unity of the Spirit 
and in the bond of peace and bring the whole created order to worship at his feet who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so let us pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. See that ye be at peace among yourselves, my children, and love one another. Follow the example of the wise and good, and God will comfort you and help you, both in this world and in the world which is to come. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, thank you for everybody that came back again. And Andy, give Amy and the baby a huge kiss from me. It'll be a long time, if ever, that we get to do that again to anybody's babies. A big hug and a big squeeze from me. They look fabulous. They really do. Take care, everybody. And if you need anything at all, you know where we are. We do get there eventually. And yes, better late than never. Enjoy every moment, Andy and Amy, Beverly, Keith and family. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you soon. Good night.